I have a ton of running around to do today. Let's go to work. I'm really not sure why, but today I am having a ton. I'm not sure why, but today I'm having a ton of problems with my camera. It keeps cutting off and stopping me in mid-sentence, and it's driving driving me crazy. I can't figure out what's going on with it. Didn't do this yesterday. Didn't do this the day before. I can't figure out what's going on with my camera. The thing keeps cutting off, like right in mid-sentence, it just turns off. And then, and it keeps turning off and turning off. And every time I start talking, it wants to shut off again. So I need to figure out what's going on with my camera because it keeps on shutting off. Okay, now it's not shutting off. And now I'm gonna start talking and watch. As soon as I start talking, it's gonna shut off. Now it's gonna make a liar out of me. Good, make a liar out of me. All right, so. We made it to work. Now it's time to do some work. You better not. Don't do it. So I just updated Adobe Premiere Pro to version 12.0, which is Haberdasher. Adobe, where'd you get that name? I'm Googling it. A Haberdasher is a dealer of men's clothes. Hmm. Okay. So much haberdashery, which would be the goods and wares sold by a haberdasher. It's haberdashery. So I guess you guys would be the haberdashery because you are watching the goods and wares sold by the haberdasher. Time to head out the door. It's been a long 10 hours here at the office. Now it's time to go work on the vlog. Okay, I'm recording for one of the first times in my studio. Uh, it is about 30% done. I know, I should get to work on that. I wanted to go over again, uh, three things that really stand out to me as I've been pursuing a lot of the dreams that I have. As you come to embrace what it is that you feel like you're supposed to be doing, you start to develop things, create things, go places, do things, whatever it is that you're gonna do, you're gonna run into some roadblocks, you're gonna run into some hiccups. And I wanted to share what some of those are that I've experienced so far. Uh, one of the first things that I ran into was just simply running out of time. So my dream is so big and my, uh, uh, my hope for the future is so big that I'm, I'm biting a lot off. And so I have to realize that I can get to my dream, but I don't have to get there all in one day for a home run every time. Baseball is won by just contact. It's a sport where if you're hitting the ball 30% of the time, 33% of the time, you're a good hitter. And so the reality is that you know, you're chasing after your dream. You don't have to hit a grand slam home run every single time you do something. You simply need to make contact. And so what that means is you just do it, right? And you don't worry about all that. So, so one of the biggest things was biting off too much. The second one is uh, when you bite off so much of a dream and you start to try to pursue it, you can very quickly and very easily push other things to the side, including people in your life. And so you want to be very careful about that. You do not want to cost relationships, cost friendships, cost you your job, cost you your livelihood. You don't want to, you don't want to uh, ruin the good things in your life in pursuit of a good thing in your life. You want to maintain the good things in your life and pursue the good things in your life as well. It means you have to get rid of the things that are not so good for you and just focus on the things that are. And the third one is that you can get into um, a situation where you start to doubt yourself. So because you've bitten off so much and you can't seem to get as far as you thought you could in the amount of time you could, you start to doubt yourself or because what you're doing starts to affect people that you know and they start to maybe you know say some things that are negative or feel in a way that like you're neglecting them you can start to doubt whether you should pursue it or not now i firmly believe that you should still pursue what you feel like you're called or 
what you're created to do, you should do that. You should follow that. You should chase after that. But you should do that in a way that includes people. So that means if there's somebody in your life that's not quite coming along with that, you should pull up for a second, explain to them, get their buy-in, and keep moving. Now, I'm not saying that you want to stop. I'm saying pull up for a second. It's kind of like playing basketball. You're you can get into um, a situation where you start to doubt yourself. So because you've bitten off so much and you can't seem to get as far as you thought you could in the amount of time you could, you start to doubt yourself. Or because what you're doing starts to affect people that you know and they start to say some things that are negative or feel in a way that like you're neglecting them, you can start to doubt whether you should pursue it or not. Now, I firmly believe that you should still pursue what you feel like you're called or what you're created to do. You should do that. You should follow that. You should chase after that. But you should do that in a way that includes people. So that means if there's somebody in your life that's not quite coming along with that, you should pull up for a second, explain to them, get their buy-in, and keep moving. Now, I'm not saying that you want to stop. I'm saying pull up for a second. It's kind of like playing basketball. You're dribbling down the court, you know that there's some defenders down there that are trying to stop you from getting to your goal. And so what you do is you pull up and you take a look around, you pass the ball to a teammate and get them involved in what you're doing so that you can get past those roadblocks. And that's exactly what I'm saying. You need to sometimes take a pause, not a stop, take a pause, figure out what you're doing, get your teammates involved and then go through it because and doing this on your own is next to impossible. It's one of the things that I'm starting to really enjoy about the YouTube community is that there are people that will connect and they'll, they'll encourage you and they'll share their wealth of knowledge and they'll share challenges like I'm sharing right now where I'm chasing after a dream. Of, my YouTube channel only has 78 subscribers and uh, that's, that's not a lot, but it's not a little, especially given it's only a couple of months old and I'm only doing a couple videos a week and I'm just learning how to do all of this. So it's, it's actually considerable considering all of those things, but when you have big dreams, uh, that might seem deflating. And so you have to really make sure that you have people around you to go into the future and to be successful. This sitting on my desk for quite a while and I have not opened it yet, so I thought I would open it tonight. Um, I don't get a lot of mail. It's a uh, universal mop for a microphone or uh, a light, like say the uh, Lumi Cube. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been able to work on a couple of projects. I lost my hard drive a couple weeks ago, as you guys know. The, the project that I reshot recently was a music video for a friend of mine named Jamez. You guys should go check him out. It's at Jamez Music. He's on Instagram. Uh, he's got some songs on YouTube. He's definitely on SoundCloud as well. Uh, and the song is called Stay Humble, and uh, it's just a really good song. So um, I was able to reshoot that with Jamez. I'm in the process of editing my version. He's editing a version of it, and then we're gonna bring those two together. It was really exciting for me. I learned some valuable lessons, some things that I would love to um, add to a, a shoot in the future, uh, some things that I'd love to get better at in shoots in the future. Uh, when it comes to music videos and things like that. And it's actually just an intriguing process to uh, take somebody's um, baby, their, their, their song that they've created, and turn that into a, a visual work of art that compares to the song that they've created. And it's a delicate task and an important one. And so I've enjoyed thoroughly working on that music video and I'm excited that that's gonna come out here very soon. And uh, I'm going to uh, share it out on the YouTube channel. And so uh, hopefully you guys uh, dig that. Uh, it is my first one, so I'd love your feedback on it. And with that, I'm going to close out today's vlog. And so what I'd love for you guys to do is to subscribe. So click that little subscribe button down below. Um, hit the little bell over in the corner. Uh, and, and make sure that you share this content with people who you think might be encouraged by watching a, a guy like myself try to chase after his dreams. Um, share it with your friends. Share it on your uh, Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I am on Twitter. Obviously, I have a YouTube channel because you're watching that here. Uh, and I'm also on Facebook. So if you guys want to find me, you can find me on any of those platforms using hashtag a lemons life. I'd love to see you guys over there and connect with you out on the socials on the internet. And uh, so thank you guys very much for tuning in. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually a little hot in this and I've got to edit this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get out of the sweatshirt and 
get to editing. So with that, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this with your friends. See you over on Twitter.